go on page two. Um, measuring these angles really relies on you simply keeping in mind what appears to be um, a right angle and then using that as your kind of benchmark standard. And this is all about benchmark angles. If we look at this and we kind of build a right angle onto it, we can see that this appears to be about half of a right angle. So a good estimate would probably be 45 degrees uh, for this one. This angle here uh, looks to be exactly 90 degrees, so good benchmark angle there. Uh, down here, we have nearly a uh, right angle formed slightly less, so it could be 75 degrees, probably 80, 85 would be even a closer estimate. And this one, um, almost a complete straight angle here, <clears throat> might be a good idea to rotate the paper, but um, Extending this line a bit, we can see that we actually have about 30 degrees or so, probably about 30 degrees less than a straight angle. So straight angle being 180 degrees, a good estimate for this might be 150 then. Um, these lines are down here. Um, again, the angle measure being right here, from there to there, um, probably about 150. If I move this line I drew out of the way, you'll see how sometimes extending one of the rays will allow you to get a kind of an idea of an, a good estimate for that. Down below here it says use a rectangle QRST with diagonal RS. Find the measure of the angle marked X and show your work. Um, we have to keep in mind, as we discussed um, in the uh, first page, that every triangle has a sum of 180 degrees in it. So I know that this triangle down below here, this is 180, and the uh, triangle right above it is also 180. I'm using a tablet to write on this thing. It's actually uh, a little more challenging than one would, one would imagine. Okay, so we're thinking about this triangle, and we're thinking, okay, it's got a total of 180 degrees. Um, we currently have 64 degrees, and some people may think, well, I, and I'm supposed to find x down here, how am I going to do that? Um, well, keep in mind that we know this is a right angle. We know it's a right angle because this whole figure is a rectangle, so it's got four right angles. So we got 64 and 90, that's a total of 154 degrees we've got so far, and we can take uh, 154 from the 180 degrees, we know that the triangle has to have total. It's 6, uh, 2. So 26 degrees is what this little x angle here should be. 26 plus 64, and then 90 is a total of 180. Okay, next page.